So if you're going to Bryce Canyon, you definitely want to do the scenic drive. These are the top 15 viewpoints and overlooks that you can stop on the 18 mile road to the end of Bryce Canyon. Right before you get to the actual park entrance, there's this Bryce Canyon sign that you can stop and take pictures. And you'll see from the sign, you're going to drive up and then you'll get to the actual entrance of Bryce Canyon. So this is where you'll go through the guard gate and pay the entrance fee. We have a National Parks Pass, so we just use that, but these are the fees as of the time that we went. As we went through the guard gate, they gave us a map, and the first overlook is Sunrise Point. So each overlook is a little bit different. Uh, in this one, we parked in this parking lot right here. You can walk on the paved trail until it turns into a dirt trail. And so this one requires just a little bit more hiking, uh, but overall it's pretty short to get there. You'll get here, there's this steep incline to get to the top, and then you have the overlook, and uh, this overlooks the Queen's Garden Trail. So then we went back, and the next overlook that we're looking at is Sunset Point. So you just follow the road, you go out, all of these overlooks are on the left-hand side of the road. And this one, it's a one-way, um, so you park and then you'll be able to follow the trail all the way over. And it's paved the whole way for this one. And Sunset Point, you can see Wall Street coming up right there of the Navajo Loop. And then we headed back to the car and our next uh, stop is Inspiration Point. Now Inspiration Point actually has two different um, overlooks. So this is the parking lot and when you first come out on the trail, you'll be at Lower Inspiration Point. You'll see the sign for Upper Inspiration Point, and then you'll follow this dirt trail. So this dirt trail is a little bit steep, um, and this is a little bit of a hike, but when you get up to Upper Inspiration Point, the view is definitely worth it. So then we hike back down the trail, uh, back to the parking lot, and then we're on to our next one, which is Bryce Point. So Bryce Point has its own parking lot as well. You can see that it has its own trail to Peekaboo Loop, and then you'll just uh, follow the paved trail um, to the overlook. Then we got back in our car and we headed on to the next one, which is Pariah View. Pariah View has its own parking lot and then it has a paved trail all the way to the end. After Pariah View, we got in a car and we headed over to the Swamp Canyon Overlook. This has its own parking lot and also a paved sidewalk and overlook area. So next we went to Farview Point.
Farview Point has its own parking lot. Um, they also have a bathroom that's open in the summertime and then its own overlook area. So the Farview parking lot also has a trail that goes to Piracy Point. It's a dirt trail. It's a pretty short hike, um, but at the end of the, uh, the trail, you'll see Piracy Point, and then you can take it back to the parking lot when you're done. So after Piracy Point, we headed back to the Farview Point parking lot, and then we headed over to uh, the Bryce Natural Bridge. This was definitely one of our favorite views. Um, next, we got in the car and we headed over to Agua Canyon Overlook. So then we headed on to Ponderosa Point. A little bit higher elevation and just amazing views of the hoodoos. So there were some steps that took us to a trail that you could take back to Agua Canyon. Um, but the trail was closed, and as we uh, looked at the bulletin board that was just past this, it said, warning, bear frequenting area, and that's why the trail was closed. So there's definitely wildlife here in Bryce Canyon, uh, but the park rangers do a good job at uh, trying to make the, the trail safe. Next, we headed to Black Birch Canyon. Now, this one has very limited parking. Uh, we we're lucky enough that as we were driving in, there was an uh, open space. From Black Birch Canyon, we headed up to Yovempa Point. So Yovempa Point and Rainbow Point share the same parking lot, but you'll wanna park um, when you first come in, cause that's the trail to Yovempa Point. So this is the parking lot for both Yovempa Point and Rainbow Point. You'll see a sign to Yovempa Point. It's paved right here, and then it goes to dirt, and then it goes back to uh, being paved. And then from Yovempa Point, we headed back to the parking lot and then we just stayed parked there and then we walked down to Rainbow Point. Rainbow Point's at the end of the parking lot. You'll see a building there. You'll see that Rainbow Point's at the highest elevation. There's a building there. It has some maps, um, tells you about the area. And then it has this beautiful overlook area.
So Rainbow Point was the last of the overlooks. It's definitely worth doing this drive. It's 18 miles back out of the park. Um, so make sure you have a full tank of gas when you're doing this drive, but it's definitely worth it.